Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I am going to be talking about filling a Pilot Vanishing Point fountain pen, and more specifically, kind of troubleshooting filling the CON40 converter and just what exactly is going on when you're filling the converter so that you can get a full fill, hopefully. So to start off, I have an empty converter, mostly empty. I actually ejected the ink for this video, so it's a little on the messy side, but that doesn't matter for this. So this is the converter. It is a twist. And you can see there's a little bit of ink left in there. Got the little metal spheres that help agitate the ink. And I'm going to get started with filling this. So oddly enough, the Noodlers Texas Black Bat ink, which is a Drum Ghouls exclusive. Uh, every time I fill my pen with this ink, I have issues. I have the same exact issue. This is a drier ink uh, from what I have used in the past. Like my favorites tend to be wetter inks for sure. This one, it's not a dry, dry ink. It's anti-feathering. It's waterproof. It's a really fantastic black ink, but for some reason it gets hung up in the bottom of this converter every time I fill it. So watch this be the one time it doesn't. But uh, I, I want to talk about how to get past that if that's a problem you're having because it's not that big of a deal. So I will fully submerge the nib into the bottle. The air hole, which is what pulls the ink up, is actually pull it closer all the way right here. I can't see it because of the black ink, but it's right here. So you have to fully submerge the entire nib and I'm going to twist it down and I'm going to twist it up one time and to fully fill I would eject the ink completely here submerge the nib again and I do two twists I'm going to clean the nib off just a little bit usually I can have a little bit more patience with it so I'm not wasting as much ink but this is the part where you would turn the nib to the sky and twist the plunger down. And as you can see, there's like virtually no ink here, but I have two twists worth of ink, which should be about here. So there should be plenty of ink in here, but it is not coming down. Now, usually when I'm working with inks, I just kind of jiggle this a little bit and the ink pulls right down, no problem. With the Texas Black Bat ink, however, the ink stays at the top. So I have to pull the converter out, twist it up. You want to be holding it straight up. Twist up until the bubbles shift. Sometimes it takes one or two times. Okay, so now the ink has come down mostly. It's still a little bit of an air pocket there, so go back up. And that's as far as it will twist. Okay, it is finally pulled all the way down now. So I can put the nib back on and there's gonna be some ink trapped up here. So I'm gonna twist it up a little bit and then pull it back down just to kind of get everything to come down because that's the whole point. When you pull the ink down, you want the whole mechanism, the whole body to be pulling ink from down so you can shove the ink back up. So I will twist up now and the idea is to wait for this little breather hole here to bubble with ink. So it will sometimes we'll have some bubbles, but that doesn't mean the ink's at the top yet. So you have to be patient with it. And this is a little hard, so there's a bubble. And that looks more like ink to me. So as soon as you see ink, you want to stop and dip the nib back in and twist all the way up. And then you should have a full fill on the converter. Now that seems like a lot to go through. Uh, it's not that bad. I mean, it's a little awkward with a camera and doing all of that, but I've got to the point now where I can do it quickly and virtually mess free. Uh, it's not my favorite thing to have to go through all of that for a black ink. I don't know why it does that specifically with this pen. I've tried cleaning the pen 
uh, more often and it still does it. So I'm not sure why, could be because it is a drier ink, but I really don't mind that much. Uh, I think it would get tedious over time. But that's one of the issues uh, when you're fully filling a vanishing point and that ink doesn't come down and you're wondering where it is and so it can get really fiddly and people tend to give up on it. So if that is your problem and you're pulling down that ink and you're not seeing it, just shift it up and down a couple of times. It should, that like that little air pocket in there should break and come down. But if it doesn't, at least you know why now. So you can pull the converter out and get that ink to come all the way down. So that is one of the main issues that I have. As I said, more specifically with that ink, like everything else, every other ink I've ever used loosens right up, no problem, uh, and I don't have an issue with it. Uh, some other issues that I have are uh, overfilling on that, like when I do the two twists, um, a lot of people say fill it halfway. I fill it a little less than halfway, so two twists is usually good. You can try two and a half to three. Uh, it, I don't know, it, the balance is just a little bit off if I go more than two twists and I end up with kind of an inky mess, like I'm not watching it close enough or it just doesn't quite work. So the two twists works for me really well. I'm actually going to eject this ink and clean the pen out and show you with another ink how easy it is to fill fully. All right, so I have cleaned out the pen and if you hear a lot of rumbling in the background or some flashes, I've got a old fashioned Southern lightning storm going on. So uh, I'm going to fill the pen up with dark matter and dark matter. I've never had any issues with filling this pen. Uh, sometimes it will get hung up in the top and I just jiggle this a little bit and it comes right down. So I'm going to see, cause it's been, I've been using Texas black bat for a few weeks now see how it does with this ink. All right, so fill it up once and expel the ink. Two twists. And turn over. Pull the ink down and the ink came down just fine. So now I'm going to, whoops, well, I've got to hold it so that the breather hole faces me so I can see when the ink comes up, see a few bubbles and that's it and fill all the way. I'm a little short, I feel like. Oh, actually, no, that's actually pretty good. Okay. That is fully filled. Just clean off the nib a little bit. And I'm ready to go. So that's how easy it is. It can be difficult. Uh, my best advice is just practice with it. Um, I've been <laughs> using this pen so, so much. I mean, I was filling this pen, oh goodness, uh, sometimes five times a day. So I really got used to it and its little quirks and everything. So I love it. I don't mind filling it that many times a day uh, because it's just that comfortable to use. So just depending on your ink, it might be a little bit more tricky to fill, but uh, yeah, I do love this pen and I'm absolutely covered in ink so my pen keeps it keeps rubbing off on the pen but I'll give it a proper shine before I put it away thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please comment below uh, I would love to hear if people have had any of these issues or if it's just been smooth sailing for you thank you so much for watching